Greetings everyone, welcome back to Lamex Effects. Today we examine why the human races are divided into Yevonites and Albed. And if we can find that out, we can understand why they hate each other. But first, like and subscribe, and share this with others you think will find this interesting. Now, let us begin. So obviously the goal is to talk about the Albed. The best part is, this is when they take a more active role in the story. So since I always show a cutscene that will give us something to talk about, let's meet some Albed. Where's Waka? That the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Walker! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first, let's go over the basics again, boys. There you are. Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! The game starts, like, real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka, you're stiff, man. No, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jekt. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the RN Yuna was talking about. And the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Emito Sumana. Vasikna Bund. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and this girl Riku gave me food, and... Uh, you don't understand me, do you? Uh... Uh, anyway. If you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game, may the best team win. So, I will be open. This is going to be a multi-part explanation. That means I won't explain everything I need to in one video. The hope is that I can give all the history by the time we get to the Meehan operation. But in any case, why is this even a question? Why do we ask why there are two human races? Well, when you look at the races of Spira, they are not divided the same way they are in the real world. In the real world, Races are Asian, Caucasian, Arabian, etc. Different types of humans, right? But in the game, it's different. Here, they are Ronso, Hypello, Guado, these musical creatures, and humans. Therefore, the humans would represent one race of people. 
However, showing them as two groups means that this particular race is divided. We can actually find a biblical inspiration for that. You see, in the Bible, races are divided by who their father is. Ammonites, Moabites, Hamites, Edomites, Ishmaelites. You get the idea. But we also have Israelites. Israelites were, like the humans in Spira, divided into two races. And what is another word for race? Nation. Let's get that definition. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 22. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. So according to this scripture, Israel was divided into two nations, two races of people, the same way the humans were divided into Yemenite and Albed. Remember when I said in the last episode that humans represent Israel? Yes, this is how deep my proof got. Anyway, I stated that Israel was divided into two nations, but what were the names of these two nations? Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 20. Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, to make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. So the two nations were called Israel and Judah which would make things confusing because I've been calling them all Israel all this time. So I need to make a distinction. By the way, some of this history, you'll already know if you watched my Kingdom Hearts video about Riku. And with that, how will I distinguish these two groups? So from now on, when I talk about Judah, I'll either say Judah, Southern Kingdom, or the Jews. When I'm talking about Israel, I'll say Israel, Northern Kingdom, or Ephraim. I'll explain where I got those terms later. But for now, when I'm talking about the entire race, I'll no longer say Israel. I'll say Israelite. Why? Because the suffix it, I-T-E, means someone who descends from a certain man. So an Israelite is the child of any of the 12 sons of Israel. Also, Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises? Verse 5. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came? who is over all, God bless forever, amen. In short, I got the term Israelite from the Bible, and the Bible defines it as a person whose father is from the flesh and bloodline of Israel. Oh, speaking of division, I need to get how these Israelite nations were treating each other. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 13. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off, Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. So, Ephraim envied Judah because the kingdom of Ephraim was cast out and ostracized, just like the Albed struggle to be accepted by the Yevonites who disassociate from them. And Judah vexes Ephraim. To vex is to annoy or irritate. Judah vexed Ephraim by calling them Gentiles and heathens. I can't believe I've been traveling with an Albed, a heathen. See where this is going? But I think that should do it for today about the history. The main point is, the reason there are two separate human races is because the humans represent Israelites, and the Israelites were divided into two nations. The nations were called Judah and Ephraim. And Ephraim, though, is sometimes called Israel. So... Waka and his Yevonites are supposed to represent the Jews, whereas Riku and the other Albed are supposed to represent Ephraim and the other tribes of Israel. Also, 
The definition of Israelite is a person who is from the race and bloodline of Israel. This is important to remember. If anyone asks, remember that Israelite is not a religion. The Bible is the religion. Got it? Israelite is a race of people. Just like Chinese is a race of people. Japanese is a race of people. Italian is a race of people. Israelite as well is a race of people. The same way say the Chinese is the race, but Buddhism is their religion. That's the same thing. Israelite is the race and the Bible is the religion. Got it? Of all things I've taught in this video, this is the single most important thing that you need to remember. In fact, I'm going to try to mention it every video from here on out. Israelite is a race defined by bloodline. All right? So, next time we travel around Luca and I'll reveal some more hidden history next time on Lamex Effects.